Howdy, howdy. Let's get rowdy. Today we're here at one of Wellington's most deadly prisons. And we're fucking hungry. It's so hungry. we thought, let's have the last meals these sicko fucks ever had. Tonight in News Extra, the man who committed what may be the crime of the century. Ten years ago tomorrow, the Supreme Court of the United States reinstated the death penalty. Timothy McVeigh, age 27. And tomorrow, a man named Ted Bundy was going to die in Florida's electric chair. He's never talked to anyone about the case until a tonight. A $3 million heist from Chicago's Art Institute. Now this sick fuck Johnny, he murdered and killed 33 young men and boys. Fuck hell mate. He left them all underneath his fucking house. Yeah, yeah, that's not on. No, 33. 33. Fuck, that's a, how you going Johnny, you bad boy. Oh, he's not here anymore, fuck the cunt. One or two, I was like okay, you fucked up. <laughs> 33, you got a real problem, Johnny. 102, all right, maybe we'll give you a chance, but 33, come on, mate. So what this sick fuck would do is he'd go out, lure his victims in. He was a clown at birthday parties and stuff. He'd lure victims back to his house. Yeah. Actually... As soon as you're a grown man who's a clown at birthday parties, you'd know there's something not right. He's actually a clown. He's a clown. That's fucking His nickname cool. is the yeah. killer clown. That is actually cool. He'd lure people to his home and say he's going to demonstrate magic tricks. He'd put them in cuffs and then he'd sexually assault them, kill them. They found 26 people underneath his house. So what was the last meal that this sick fuck ordered? This sick fuck had 12 shrimps, mm -hmm. KFC chicken, fries, and strawberries. Do you want to know what his last words were? <laughs> Here you go. Kiss my ass. <laughs> That's the last thing this fucker said. What's his production, man? Get this shit production. This cunt's behind the camera. He needs to take a shit. He's fucking around, like, doing fart sounds. Our cameraman's doing a poo while we're filming this video. Look at this pissing. So Johnny got put to death by lethal injection at the age of 56 years old. His last words were, kiss my ass. He wanted a pound of strawberries, <laughs> some fucking shrimps, some chicken, and chips from KFC. And that's what the sick fuck got. Oh, there's your fucking meal, you dago. I've got way more chips than you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Bon appetit. Fucking hell, cunt. This is pretty fucking piss weak, isn't it? <laughs> if I was getting lethal injection, this would not be my last fucking meal. Fuck no. The strawberries are good. Mm. Yeah, you picked out a nice, um, a nice box of strawberries, mate. Mm. I'll be up the shrimp. They're fucking rock up. Chips are fucking ice, mixed with shrimp. KFC's a good choice. Yeah, he's done it right there. Everything else. Ah. Oh, strawberries, yeah. What would you get as your last meal? I reckon I'd get my last meal, I'd probably get like a mixed grill, mm. like some fucking ribs, chicken, squid, just like a fucking, like a fuck fest of meat. Yeah, I like that. Sausage, you know, maybe some hash browns, bacon. Mm. I'd just go fucking ham, not order this. Like this is, this is all right, like strawberries. Just a weird combination, strawberries, chicken, shrimp, chips, like, yeah. Hey, right, cameraman, eat this, bro. The next sick fuck that we have on the list here is Timothy McVeigh. Now, Big Bad Timmy, unfortunately, took it on himself to bomb a building in Oklahoma City and injured 680 people and killed 168. Thank fuck the maggot was put to death at the age of 33 by lethal injection. His final words were, I am the master of my fate, I am the capture of my soul. This cunt thinks he's some sort of poet. <laughs> We can ask him here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, good sir. <laughs> <laughs> right, cheers, now, mate. Fuck on bang. It's a little bit melted, but fuck, you know. That's fucking disgusting, cunt. <laughs> the fuck's this shit? There's no way, no wonder he fucking killed a bunch of people. He's a fucking psycho. Who the fuck gets mint chocolate chip ice cream? This is ridiculous. <laughs> no wonder, mate. Alright, the next dirty Derek dog we have is Ted Bundy. This guy was fucked. I'm sure you guys have all seen the movie, a lot of you guys know his tale, it's no joke. Now what Ted did was killed, murdered, raped a bunch of girls in the early 1970s. After more than a decade of denials, he confessed to 30 different counts. Now the thing with Bundy is he's a handsome man. Like if I seen him, I'd probably fuck him, he's a good looking bloke. That's why he managed to pull all his victims, because he was fucking hot shit. And girls mm. were all over him. Mm. Little did they know, he was a he's creep. A fucking nutter upstairs. Don't judge a book by its fucking cover. A lot of spinners out there, girls, be careful. Now what this this fucker would do to lure his victims is he would dress up as 
authorities, he'd pretend he had a disability, get sympathy, and trick cunts. Now after he killed someone, he'd go back to the scene, he'd groom them, brush their hair, and do all sorts of weird shit. Now Ted was put to death at the age of 43 for necrophilia, murder, and rape. Now in the execution chamber, he had 42 fucking witnesses there to watch him. Now this fucking spinner's last words were, Jim, Fred, I'd like you to send my love to my family and friends. Jim and Fred were probably dogs, let's be real. <laughs> Ted Bundy's last meal was egg, steak, hash brown, juice, and milk. Come on, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't wait for this. Quick disclaimer, once upon a time, this was a nice, hot, fresh meal. It's about three hours old now. It took us so long to find a fucking location. So this sucks. So you know what? You can have my hash brown, bro. <laughs> the steak is nicely seasoned, though. You know what I could use? What? A drink to wash it down. Now I know why he got the milk and juice. <laughs> oh, milk, man. Fuck. Fucking milk. Juice is alright. Oh, fuck. Do you want some? Hey, leave some of the rest of my fucking. Give me some of that, you can't. Oh, oh, there's more. Oh. Even the milk's fucking warm, bro. Oh. Look at that. Bit of both together. He's probably a weirdo. He probably had both of them together. Let's be real. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw this on you. No. <laughs> Have a bit of that. He probably had both together because he was that much of a freak. The last sicko we have here tonight is James Edward Smith. Now, he was a former priest in Texas, and he ended up shooting a bloke in the chest and killing him, and he got the lethal injection. He requested a lump of dirt for his last meal for some fucking odd ritual reason, but he was denied and he was given a cup of yogurt instead. Now, the spinner's last words were, I myself did not kill anyone, but I go to my death without begging for my life. I will not humiliate anyone. Fuck knows what that means, and fuck him. Let's have some yogurt. <laughs> Fuck him, let's have some yoga. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. How demoralizing. Mm, I don't mind yogurt, so this isn't too bad. It's better than the dirt. I mean, fuck, if I was dying, I'd order a bit more. But, um, yeah, fuck. Better than the dirt. Yeah, it is better than the fucking dirt. So what's the go with that ritual dirt thing? Did you do your research for this? So what the dirt's used for, if you eat the dirt and it's left behind where the body is, it stops the body from becoming a ghost. So the soul travels and you don't become a ghost. You leave this earth and you move on. I don't believe in it, I think it's pretty fucked, but uh, he got yogurt instead, so fuck him. Thanks for watching the video, boys. We're gonna jump back on the road. We're in the middle of a road trip. We thought we'd just uh, pull over at the prison and film this nice little segment and uh, just show them what this place is. It's not a fucking prison, it's some building site. This is some fucking port in Wellington. Mm. Yeah, we just thought we'd like go somewhere with barbed wire because it kind of fits the theme of the video, but we're mm. not really that cool. No. So it's not a prison, we're just some fuckwits that thought we were cool and would say it was. And mm. Fuck, fuck off. <laughs>